Hey everybody, this is Kent with AT Hiking the Video in this case, but we also have AT Hiking the Podcast. You can go to iTunes, uh, look in their iTunes store, it's free, go to their podcast section, search for hiking, and you're going to come up with some great hiking podcasts that uh, I think you'll really enjoy. Ours is one, and I hope, uh, hope we, we uh, make it entertaining for you. Today, just for a moment or two, I want to talk to you about how we plan an AT hike. This is real important because if you haven't gone out on the Appalachian Trail ever, or if you've gone out but you don't go out a whole lot, then you really need to be prepared when you go out. And you can do a lot of that preparation at home before you ever go out. And here's how basically I do it. There's several resources. And I'm going to put on the bottom of the uh, running on the title on the, on the video here uh, some websites for you to go to. One uh, in particular uh, resource that we use is the, called the Appalachian Trail Data Book. This one happens to be 2005. You can buy a 2008 or 9. I think they come out once a year. The Appalachian Trail changes a mile or two maybe every year. Uh, part of it is rerouted because of a bad part of the trail or uh, they have a, a river washout or a stream washout or what have you. Uh, it causes the trail to change slightly. They may divert you around an area that they, the habitat is uh, suffering because of the trail or the plant life is suffering. So it changes on a year-to-year -year basis. But it runs, I mean, I'm a cheap son of a gun, but it's $5.95 new. Uh, I think I paid $2 for this one because I bought it a year after it uh, expired. It's the same data book that you're going to get in 2008 or 9 by a mile or two. I, it's no big deal. But it gives you a lot of information, gives you the miles from uh, point to point. Uh, it tells you each one of the shelters that you're coming up to, whether there's water, road crossings, um, any particular overlooks that there might be, cities that are coming up, where the groceries are, are coming and so forth. That's real handy. What I do is I mark in the data book uh, in using different colored um, highlighters. My yellow highlighter is the section that I've done in the fall and the or excuse me, in the spring, I'm sorry, uh, is in the spring. And the orange is what I uh, hike in the fall. And that just kind of gives me a visual record of, of how much uh, the Appalachian Trail we've done so far. Since Springer Mountain, we're at about 800 miles, and, and we're up in Virginia now, heading into the Shenandoah. So uh, this is great information. Obviously, uh, maps. Now, the Appalachian Trail Conservancy sells these maps. Uh, they're great. You buy them basically for the section that you're going in, and you can call them and tell them where you're going to be and where you want to go and so forth, and they'll... They'll surely tell you which map you need. The nice thing about these is they're detailed with regard to elevations and topography. And a, a particular I like is the elevation scale on the edge of the map, which shows you the elevation of a particular part of the trail. And I'll mark that up pretty good with what day we're staying where and all that sort of thing. And I carry this with me. It's a little extra weight, but I like to be able to see where I am. It's real important you don't want to get lost out there. So that kind of gives me a, uh, an idea that if I'm here um, today, overnight, and I've got this big mountain to climb before, you know, the next day is over, it just kind of prepares me for what's coming up. Um, another really, really good resource is the Appalachian Trail Mate. It's uh, manufactured as a, a software program made by Barker. Uh, B-A-R-K-E-R, -E and again, I'll, I'll put it down here on the, on the screen, Barker Industries. I think it's 15 bucks, but it's a PC-oriented uh, uh, software, and you can go in and you can mark your starting point on the Appalachian Trail. It's just the trails. Starting point on the trail, where you want to be the first night, second night, third night. Um, you can put in there how many days you want to be on the trail, and it'll kind of walk you through how to organize those days into into bite-sized uh, hikes, if you will. Uh, it gives you all the information that the data book gives you, water, groceries, road crossings, cities, and all that sort of thing. And, and it's really, it tells you how many average miles you do per day, how many you doing, you know, per trip, and all that sort of thing. That's real handy. One last thing while I'm thinking about it. The uh, data book, I'll do it again uh, on the bottom of the screen here. There is a website, I believe it's, a lot, it's something like the Long Distance Hikers uh, Association or something like that, but I'll have it on here. Uh, you can go online. It's a free online data book. So in other words, if you want to go on and check 
uh, section of the trail out. It'll give you all the information that you'll find in here, but it's online. It's free. So I'll pass that on to you as well. Um, I'm not sure if that helps you or not, but I tell you what, if you're planning an Appalachian Trail hike and you have not done your homework by uh, organizing your thoughts as to where you want to be on the trail, where you want to be tonight, where you want to be tomorrow, so that you can be off the trail and meeting whoever it is that's going to get you back to your vehicle or whoever's going to get you home, um, then you're, you're really going to have a bad trip. So plan it ahead of time and you'll have a great time. This is Kent with AT Hiking, the podcast, in this case, the video. Have a great day.